Hello and welcome back. Now in this video, we are going to be discussing how you find the product to promote. But before we do that, what we need to do is we need to find out, well, what problems are people trying to solve in the niche? So if you can find the people, the problem that people are desperate to solve, then you can find an appropriate product to promote within your niche. Now, one of the best ways to choose that product, of course, is that's what we're talking about. Finding that problem that people are really desperate to solve. And when you think about it, all you've got to do is go to those sites where people are having conversations online. And wherever people are having conversations online in your niche, that is where they'll be discussing their problems. And if you're willing to listen and not go there to promote your business or to promote yourself, you will be able to find the appropriate product or the appropriate lesson to teach them. And you'll be able to find the appropriate product as a result. Now, I'll tell you where this is happening. It's typically happening in online forums. So I'll show you how to find an online forum in a particular niche. Now, notice what I've done here. I've typed in to the Google search engine, dog training and online forums as one search. And what you'll see here is that there are a number of online forums dedicated to dog training. Now, of course, I can get more specific and I can get into my niche, but when I go inside of these forums, I really am not going to promote myself yet. I'm going right now to find out, well, what problems are people having that they cannot yet solve? What problems are people having that they are looking for more and more information on, that they're buying books on, that they are really discussing? Because that's going to give me a clue as to what kind of product I'm going to want to promote. Now, I can do the same thing in another niche. Look what I've placed there in the, in the search engine. I placed in low-carb dieting and the words online forum. And you'll find the very same kind of results. People are literally looking for information in order to help them to solve problems within that particular niche. So if your niche was low carb dieting, you would be able to go to one of these forums or all of these forums and really get a sense for what problems people are really looking to solve. And not only is it happening in social in, in online forums, it's actually also happening in social media groups. Now, notice how when I go inside of Facebook and I type in the search low carb dieting, or even if I were to go one step further and I were to type in groups, you could find a number of groups that are dedicated to this subject. Now, what do I want to do? Well, obviously I want to join these groups, but once again, the purpose of my joining these groups is not to attract attention, it's not to push my link, it's really to learn and find out what the problems are that people are actually trying to solve that for, to, heretofore they have not been able to really get a good answer to them. Now, of course, uh, these same conversations, they're, they're probably happening inside of chat and IM groups, and those things are going to be harder to find, and you'll, you'll probably find them as you get deeper into your research into the niche, but those conversations are happening there too, and you really are going to get good information on what people are really struggling with. So here's what you want to do. You want to start making a list of the 10 frequently asked questions or problems in your niche. Make sure that you have a good list and as you go through each one, as you go through the groups, just make a list and keep a running list. Make a running list of the most frequently asked questions. Now, after you've been in a niche for a while and you've got a little more experience, you also want to make and keep a second list which is the questions that people should be asking based on your knowledge and based on having gone from form to form and place to place. Now, these are great ways to find out where people are having real conversations when they're not looking for a particular product and they are really looking for genuine solutions. And as you go through the niche, you are going to want to keep these in mind as you go to start thinking about, well, which product is best? Which product has the best message? Which product is really going to solve the problem that people are trying to solve right now? Okay, so with that, thanks, and I will see you in the next video.